Ew. <laughs> My eyes are really big. Well, Ew. <laughs> Welcome back to the Aura Fitness Podcast brought to you by the Aura Fitness.net, your source for online coaching built for and by busy grown-ups just like you who are on the quest for health and strength in everyday life. I am your host, Rob Van Lason, certified personal trainer, elder brother, and victim of vehicle crime. And I'm here with my podcast co-host, Rachel Hammerood, uh, 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 my lord, younger sister. <laughs> Off to a great start. Holy moly. Um, I'm a certified fitter, Rachel, coming at you as a confident, sane fitter, Rachel. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm back, guys. Happy to be here. And I am also a victim of a moldy, rotty swing set. Yes, you are. So this past weekend was a big busy one for me, not on purpose. Um, today, accidental busy weekend. Accidentally really busy, a little too eventful maybe. Um, today is a good day. Uh, so yesterday was September thirtieth. I it was the last day I wrapped up my uh, train every day in September challenge. We'll talk a little bit about that. Today is the first day of the Halloween challenge. Obviously, we're going to talk a little bit about that too obviously obviously um but the reason why this uh past weekend was overly eventful for me was because my car was broken into and and disabled because it was a fucking idiot it doesn't even know how to steal a goddamn car like how do you how do you be so bad at things that you have to turn to crime and then be bad at that yeah yeah man dude so it's like, like robbing a place and then forgetting to get the money. He was like, go give me all your money. And then you, 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 yeah, you walk up with like a pen from the bank instead of a bag full of money. <laughs> Sick You're pen. Sick, dude. So um, I've talked to a couple of times already about how there's like construction in our front yard, basically on Cedar Lake Road. So I can't, I don't have access to my own driveway and haven't for like several weeks, which is funny because the city said we would and that they would not, you know do things so i mean what are, what are you gonna do you can't beat city hall i guess so we've been parking like around the block so like we have to walk through our backyard and a neighbor's yard to get to our cars where we're parking and because are of you that, the only neighbor that's dealing with this uh pretty much yes it's like Ridiculous. very specific it's like very specifically our driveway only holy mackerel it sucks out loud um so yeah so we've been parking far away and then saturday night someone decided to help himself to the Hyundai Elantra that was sitting just out all of a sudden on the street side. And it's in Lewis Park. Ours was not the only one broken into. Um, there's at mm. least one other car that I saw with a broken window and stuff taken out. The cops came, whatever. So, like, I guess Hyundais are known for being easy to break into and steal, to boost. And um, Kias, yeah. And Kias, yeah. Uh, I guess that's a thing more for, like, newer models of Hyundais and older ones or whatever there's not this new technique that people probably honestly are seeing on tiktok doesn't work on them and so this dude broke into my car it could have been a girl you're right (laughs) this lady will say gender this criminal we'll just we'll just assume because everyone says he when they talk about criminals we'll just be fair and say this young lady uh she broke into my car by like smashing the lock part of the handle on my driver's side door because girl it's a a 20 girl right 2015 hyundai elantra so like three out of the four doors don't have like an actual key lock on it it's all electronic um and it was locked so they i don't know whatever tried to get into the one side busted it open they fucked it here okay so here's the thing i'm pretty sure my car wasn't even locked because I, no way yeah because i just rarely lock my car anyway just out of force of habit because i usually yeah. park where it's safe and also i keep it's nothing of we're, value in my car i also think it's because we are uh products of where we were raised which is that a place too. that you never have to lock anything that's because we lived in a cul-de-sac you know everyone knows everyone everyone sees everything that goes on in there yeah it's literally the a old 014 yep yeah. Um, but anyway, so this person, so he, here's my theory on how events went down. This person tried to break the lock off of my driver's side door, fucked it up because it's jammed shut, and then just walked around to the other side, tried the fucking door, and just got in. 
Oh, and Lord. then just like literally ripped like the innards out of like my steering column, and like the ignition system is just fully like its guts are hanging out and stuff like that. It looked like, like what... it was cut. Maybe I don't know. Like there's apparently there were tools left there. I didn't see them. Mo dealt with the cops most of the time because I found out like as I had to go to work. So I was like, I need to be to work like in 15 minutes. Like I need, I can't oh, deal with this right God. now. Yeah, so Mo, Mo did that. Thank God she was there. Um, yeah, that was a Sunday morning. Yeah. And then they tried to boost it, whatever decided I can't do, I, I'm not good enough at this and just left and broke someone else's window, I guess, and took their stuff. The only things they took from my car was the phone charging cord that was in there. Not even the charger itself, just the cord, <laughs> just the USB C. You can get those for like four dollars at a gas station, <laughs> and the little uh, like uh, like overbody sling bag that I bring with me when I go places with Olivia. So they have Olivia's like T-shirt, some wipes, a leftover diaper. Have fun. I think I think Ma'am. they have her her spaceship uh, water bottle, and that does Aww. suck. Yeah. yeah, and a button that we got on an art for that says "Silly Goose on the Loose," and so now there's a very silly goose out there. Oh, and also this person is so fucking stupid; they hurt themselves while trying to break into my car and Whoa. bled all over the door and like on an i an iPhone charging cord that was left in the car, which apparently is used in some way during like Hyundai boosting. So CSI came out and took samples. Of this fucking idiot. That's crazy. Blood. That's wild, dude. I cannot wrap my mind around how stupid this person must yeah. be. Yeah. Just like, like, you know, like when you think about like being broken into and being like victimized by a crime or something like that, you know, I feel like, especially for a lot of men, you know, like a, a response would be like, oh, just like, just go walk my hands on them. You know, it's one of like five minutes long. It's just like, this person would fucking, they're probably dead by now from walking into an open manhole. Like they have like cartoon dog level intelligence. <laughs> it's just, I'm not threatened by this person. I'm very frustrated because now it's going to cost yeah, us right. 3000 plus dollars to fix all, all of this. Um, luckily the guys, dollars? yeah. Yeah. Insurance is having nothing to do with it because it's a salvage title because it was lo- uh, a total loss did a hail damage. Like, Mm, forever ago. ago oh a month ago oh a month ago yeah so so the whole thing sucks out loud but that was, so only well. one, that was only one part of a larger weekend the really exciting part rachel is that there were posts from your bestie M, who's on the Discord now. Hey yo! Photographic proof of you in the gym. In doing the, gym. the damn thing. You want to tell us a little nasium. bit about? You want to tell us a little bit about your time at doing nasium? Yeah. So um, I ended up joining Shoreview Community Center, nice. um, which we had a listener reach out who works there, which I had no idea she worked there. Super freaking cool. Yeah. I had to pick her brain. Um, my biggest concern was the child care. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's a manager. So I like got to ask her all the questions and oh, nice. that made me feel a lot better about everything. And then uh, Emma had been going to the Y and I was just like, any chance I could sell you on Shoreby Community Center? Because Em and I live, like, or, around the block from each other. So yeah. we would, you know, like, be going together and stuff. Um, and she was like, oh, I don't know. And then I told her all about the amenities. Um, and <laughs> and the fact that water park, man, is so dope. It's very um, cool. Yeah. It was so, cool when I went there, like, 20 years ago. And they still have those, flo- like, those big floaty things yeah, that, you know, like, you guys. would, f- that, uh, the ones that you would, like, climb on top of and do, like, King of the Castle, sort of, yeah, King yeah, of yeah. the Hill. Yeah, yeah. They still have that snake. Cool. Do you remember that freaking snake, dude? Yeah, dude, that thing was awesome. And yeah. now their water slide, you can pick your song. 
I don't exactly know how it works. I haven't done what? it yet. Yeah. So M's kids went and they were like, what song did you pick when you went down that slide? And I was yeah. just like, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, you get to pick a what song. Like mean? it's freaking slide karaoke or something. What is happening? They said what? there's like a, there's like LED light show and you can Dang, pick, pick your song, which honestly sounds like such a waste of time for the person that works the song. <laughs> yeah probably. how indecisive kids are like yeah oh my god why do we need a soundtrack to this 10 second <laughs> ride um but uh and then i just kept telling them like i used to go here when i was a kid and they're like yeah. you've told us this before please stop telling us this <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know you're very old yes yeah. you've told um, us that you've been here so many times so many times yeah Lady, so yeah their please. child care was nothing like i thought it was going to be uh thought so it was, it was just good? like yes yeah good um i wouldn't say it's spectacular um but, you know i it, yeah. it's all right so yeah. um and it was just super nice you know, M has been hitting the gym for like months and months and actually like a full year now. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I was like a little intimidated, you know, it's, it's not like she's some gym rat or whatever. we were like, so after we got done working out, we we're like, look at us, little gym rat, squeak, squeak. <laughs> uh, I got to hear this tale. Did you fucking freeze? I will lose my GD mind. I will lose it. I will lose it. You are frozen. Are you? Yeah. Fuck, dude. I swear to the gods of Shoreview Community Center. Keep telling stories, BRB. All right. Um, right. I'm trying to think of Shoreview stories. Oh, Jesus Christ. I did find out that their gym locker room, which is different than their water park or just over overall locker room no it must be for their gym or no it's for their water park sorry riveting content guys um now you're fully gone keep telling okay all right anyway their other story <laughs> i'm sorry their other uh locker room is incredibly nice their 18 plus locker room is beautiful so if you guys are anywhere near shoreview um you should go check it out because they have that sick playground and they have the water park they have this really nice gym, which has a... Hey, Rob. Hi. Nice to see you, bud. Uh, good to be back. Lord have mercy. Second second crash of this recording. Okay. So where were we? Okay. Anyway, uh, I was just talking about the 18-plus locker room at... Um, mm. It's true. Yeah, which Doesn't is a get, lot like, nicer lit? than the... You get pretty lit in there? I mean, the lighting is nice. It's a, it's just, if it's an 18 plus club, you know, it can get pretty wild. I mean, it's still 21 yeah, plus, yeah. I suppose. They have wooden lockers, or at least that fake wood. Fancy. I don't know. It's well, fancy. Wood. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely, you know, like M knew that I wanted to try out the rowers for sure. Um, oh, yeah. And we still don't know what we're doing. We're waiting for you <laughs> to come yeah. help us. Um, but All right. even, now like, that you I know where you're going, I can write you programs and stuff. Right. Well, I don't yeah. like. Uh, so we bench pressed for the first time yesterday. Hell yeah! What, um, you, what do you bench, bro? The bar. Okay. Um, Good start. <laughs> thank you. Uh, both of, both M and I were like, "Whoa, this is way heavier than we were thinking." Um, <laughs> Whoa, wowie! <laughs> but it is. It's just so nice to. And it, M said it, which I was like surprised and humbled by that she was like, "It's so nice to like, you know." have fun trying things and be like feeling more confident like with mm -hmm. a friend there or whatever yeah um but she was just like yeah when, like i was rowing and she was walking and we were just talking she's like i forgot i'm walking i'm having such a good time um <laughs> that's awesome but, like everyone is so silent and we're just like blah, 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 blah. um but it's like no that's so, the least surprising thing i've heard <laughs> yeah i know oh my god what if everybody hates us like well no, nobody you know. cares they're all listening to me. the reason everyone's silent is because they're in there just like listening to their own music or like that's very true world. yeah right um which yeah i need some headphones i mean granted we talk most of the time but um yeah, yeah so we bench press but it was super nice because like 
it is just so much more comfortable looking stupid when somebody else is there to laugh with you. A hundred percent. Um, like I would be just overall way too scared to walk into the gym and just like, even just like looking over and reading something to be like, Oh, what is this? Just too embarrassing mm. to do alone. Um, sure. Yeah, and I, I get it. Yeah, I get yeah it. so like em and i are like look <laughs> let's look at this <laughs> let's try it oh my god look at me uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't I look foolish <laughs> you don't I look foolish leg pressing 300 pounds um, <laughs> humble brag hashtag yeah, yeah so nice. yeah it was on the like like it wasn't the actual like free weight one uh-huh. uh it was like the actual like there's the machine yeah. um and i did like a hundred at first and i was like there has to be something wrong this is way too easy this is very um, easy yeah <laughs> and then yeah so i went up to 300 and that was difficult but i did five reps and um yeah. <laughs> and was just like no freaking way and then she like hopped <laughs> hopped on and started pressing and she's like what the fuck rachel (laughs) but she she was able to push one out nice so she pushed one out for the homies um same you know (laughs) twice a day sometimes um (laughs) nice um and then we yeah so we bench pressed both of us had both of us were like yo we've wanted to bench press but we've been way too scared to do it yeah. and um so like i like got she was just like all right so i think your shoulders are supposed to like line up with the with the i don't know vertical bars or whatever and i was like okay and then i like got under and i was like mm, this doesn't feel right and we're like let's check tiktok <laughs> so we TikTok, nice. like, <laughs> how press do bench technique. press and yeah. then we like figured it out or whatever and um so then yeah we both just like took turns we we kind of did huh. the thing where like everything that we would try we would do three reps of 10 um just to kind of like yeah give it a good shot um and so yeah like we're we obviously want a a plan from you but like for now we are just like actively trying but both of us were saying like we really kind of want to lay down a circuit so it's less time in in between because time is precious (laughs) um so we want to like be spending it really working um Mm. but holy mackerel m got jumps um she she was yeah yes she was doing the box jumps oh yeah (laughs) she was just like she did the tallest one and i mean m is a tall girl she's like five nine um maybe no i think she's five nine um but she was just like I bet you could do it. She's like hyping me up. And I was like, girl, I, girl, I don't think I can do it. She's like, girl, I think you can do it. And I was like, and she was like, maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him next time, buddy. And I was just like, what the, f- what? It, it was just very much like my leg press versus her box jump. Kind sure. Of thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it feels cool to be going. Um, yeah. When are you going next? So, well, we were, I don't know, because like Linnea is kind of sick. So, mm. uh, but I'm like, did she get sick from this freaking childcare? <laughs> right. Um, you know, so that's, I don't know. Um, and I am a good person and I don't take my sick kids places. Yep. <sighs> but because other people are not good people. She ends up getting sick the second she's healthy again. Hmm. Um, hmm. So that's a giant bummer. And M can only go yeah. when she's done with work, which is when my husband is at work, so he can't watch it. Uh, yeah. I don't exactly know, but it's we'll be going thing, again. Is what it sounds you know. like, yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to get um, my other BFF, Christina, to join. Christina, please God, join. Um, Christina. That's- Christina! Christina! Come on, Christina! Be cool. be cool for like two seconds, Christina. Or be cool for an annual membership. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One um, of the two, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I, I am literally, because the childcare is $2 an hour, $3 if you don't have the, the punch pass. Um, but I was just like, I'm just hitting up all my exhausted mom friends, which is <laughs> all moms. Um, yeah, yeah let's be real. <laughs> And just being like, I don't care if you work out with me. I will just go there and we can stare at each other in silence because we don't yeah. get to. 
I will do anything yeah. with you for two hours. Just do it with me. Dude, um, at, the, at the Y, their policy was a, a free two hours with the membership. Mm. Um, and moms would come in and they'd just drop the kid up and they'd just like go sit in the lobby and read a magazine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't even do shit, man. They're just like, correct. This is just what I want right now. Yes. But Christina yeah. did say that she wants to work out. So yeah. um, it'd be pretty cool. So. Uh, I'm feeling super psyched about it. it you know, it was yeah, the man. one, the thing that I was looking to do, but... This was um, the big hurdle, yeah. This was the big hurdle. But man, the, they're like those three big racks, which sounds funny, but... Um, ah. <laughs> babes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the three big racks, like I, I think Em and I want to do them really bad, but that is like just so level advanced that sure. we're like, you know... Right, Whoa, right. we did rub for the... Like we were... We were bench pressing and fucking yeah. it up and everything, and both of us were like, "Rab, Rab, Rab, where are you? Rab, help us!" Yeah, you texted me on Sunday morning when I was in the middle of running class, and I was like maybe forty-five minutes off from like just learning that my car had been broken into it. Mm. And I was like, "I," because you were like, "When can you come help us with this?" And I was like, "I can't." <laughs> I'm not your brother. <laughs> Don't fucking talk to me right now. Yeah, fair enough. Rough yeah. timing. Um, yeah, in the next yeah. couple of weeks, we'll, we'll be able to make something work. Yeah, but I was, because I said in the text, um, I think it would be cool if, like, you brought the whole fam and then, like, Mo yeah. and Olivia did water park and even mm. maybe I could ask Mo to take my kids to the water park, too. Um, mm, and then we can, you know, gym it up. Yeah, or Olivia can go into the childcare and Mo can gym it up with us, or they can not mm -hmm. just come, or we can talk about this a different time. Um, so many options. I think we will go with the latter. Um, so, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm pretty pumped about uh, the timing of it all because I'm looking to win Halloween. Whoa! Should we talk about Halloween a little bit? Yeah. All right, so Halloween is, it started officially today. Um, I'm not going to bother you guys with the details and the rules and all that junk about it because I talked about it in the, in the latest episode and many times on my Instagram, so go check that out. Uh, but there are people on the board already. You know, I can, I can load it up right now and check and see here. So That's a crazy. 9.49 yeah. p.m., first day, and people are boarding. People are on there, I think. I know my Beth. girls, Beth and Blazin, are on there. They're, yes, they're on there for sure. It looks like Beth is in the lead. Of course. Way to go, um, Beth. Yeah. They've both watched. Okay, because Beth has an aerobic workout today in addition to a strength workout today. That puts her ahead of Blaze by one point, which Blaze will hate to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you are second to Beth. Lo love you guys, though. Love you guys, though. They both watched. Um, <laughs> They watched Alien today. They Did posted they watch it, it together? Yes, they're besties. God, that's so cute. That's awesome. Also, Alien, very good movie. Was very that on funny. your list, or did we get it approved? Uh, I think it was. I think it was approved. It might not, might not have been on my list. Um, okay, all right. But I have talked about how Alien is like a good movie. I also don't think I was talking about this with Mel earlier today. I don't think I'm gonna limit myself to just extraterrestrial horror movies um, because there is this pre-approved list of ten other movies that everyone else in Halloween is going to be watching so i'll just try and watch more spooky movies but i am going to do the spooky media only mm. for uh for yeah i guess maybe i should reel it in that i will not win halloween because i effing hate horror movies well i mean there's there's movies on there that aren't like you could watch halloween town it's kind of a waste of time <laughs> hocus pocus some classics man yeah I mean, I, like, I watch such little TV that if I'm going to watch TV, yeah, it's going to be about, like, murder or something. Which could be, dude, if true crime was spooky, which it is, true crime is spooky. Uh, it's spooky. Different kind of spooky. Girl, or bro, if, uh, <laughs> uh, if we got points for watching true crime, then yeah. I would sweep. You'd, you'd sweep for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I would swift for them bitches. Uh, I mean, that's I guess that's kind of it for Halloween news right now. 
Um, people yeah, join up. Most... It's not just because it's October doesn't mean you can't join up. It's only the first right now, guys. If it's you're listening only to the it, first. if you're listening to this, it's probably the second because obviously you listen to this the day it comes out. Do you want to beat Beth or not? Or, or not, guys. She's in the lead. Like we have, oh God, what do we have? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people signed up right now. Rachel, your name, is, your name is notably absent um, from this one here. Just saying, co-host. Wait, but to, to be on the list, I just have to like get a point or? No, you just have to put yourself on in the Google sheet. Oh, is that through you, the Discord? Yeah, do you want to be on it? I can do it right now. Oh, yeah, obviously. They're added. Okay. Did you, maybe, a, did maybe you I'll do just... a strength workout or an aerobic workout today? Not today, no, yesterday. Did you Did you watch a film? No. No. Uh, did you do one of the things <laughs> that are worth a bonus point? Hold on, I talked about that earlier today. Kind of thing. What, what was worth bonus points today? Um, oh, some people. Oh, yes, it was to post a picture of your Halloween costume from last year in the Discord. M did that with a very cool Harlequin jester. We got a very cool looks like a demon lady from Beth and this fucking hilarious um, Among Us cost, inflatable Among Us costume that Blaze posted <laughs> from last year. That's pretty fantastic. Uh, Alright, I gotta get in it more. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or, or for one point, go to the podcast channel and ask a question you want Rob and Rachel to answer on this week's episode. Wait, was that from point. my idea? Yes, that counts. I'll give, <gasps> See, I'll give I get a point. point. Oosh. I get a point for becoming or coming up with a question. Thank you oh, very yeah. much. Rachel, you're on the board. Hey, I feel like Monster Zink. You're on the scare board. You're on the scare board. All right. Well, uh, so because it's the first today, I mentioned a little bit earlier in the intro today that it's the, I wrapped up my 30 days training daily challenge from last, last month in September. I do want to talk about that just a teensy tiny bit because I feel like I got to talk Go about off. Like fitness stuff just a little bit. And that's basically what it all is. So Dude, your a... workout selfie looking swole. Thank you. God, it's so <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, Mo, we were eating dinner tonight and Mo. You said, uh, stop dinner. I need to go take a picture of myself. No, that, that, was, that was during the middle of the day. I work out in the mornings usually. But yeah, we were eating dinner tonight. And Mo just looked at me and she's like, you're looking kind of, you're looking kind of swole, dude. Just like, I don't know where. It feels fucking awesome, by the way. Hell yeah. Ladies, if you want your husband to feel really awesome, just tell him, you're looking kind of swole. You're looking kind of thick, bro. It's like a propos to nothing. What? Um, hey, it, is that a thick husband? Is, is that my thick husband? Um, and I was like, thanks. Did you see the selfie I posted today? And she was like, no, what are you talking about? So I guess she hadn't seen it at all, which is kind mm -hmm. of funny. But yeah, I had taken this post-workout selfie where I was kind of like flexing a little bit in the mirror, and I, I do look pretty fucking sick and, sick and thick and swole. Um, oh. Whoa, yeah. And there's this whole caption about how like I normally don't do it because it feels cringy to me, and like I'm not super confident in like myself or my own body a lot of the time, so like it's a very rare thing where I feel like I should post a selfie of myself. Especially right. like a shirtless, basically like in my underpants post-workout like very underpants. like very underpants very like gym shout out bro. boy meets world shout out boy meets world uh kind of sam thing. will love that and uh and i, to I told him yeah i posted this thing and she's like well are you thirst trapping now and i was like i don't know you tell me and i showed it to you she's like oh you're thirst trapping now <laughs> and then i saw that i had a notification from facebook and i went in and his mom had commented on it and she's oh. like, oh, I no did she <laughs> comment with that freaking sticker I don't think so. No, she okay. said like, "Oh, honey, you're looking so good. Like you work so hard, it pays off." And it's like, "Amazing, we love you, mom." Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Dude, I had posted something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like cute pictures of Linnea, and then like uh, people commented, and some people put stickers on there, and I screenshotted yeah. it and sent it to somebody, and I said, "You want to take a guess on who, uh, which commenters are over 60? <laughs> The elders love stickers. the stickers, man. Love a sti you know, and hey, you know what? Five year olds love a sticker. It's like a severe, like a bell curve. Sir, yeah, uh, yes, yeah. 
there's like a 55, 60 year span. Where we span think we're too good for stickers. Where you're kind of just met on stickers and then it comes back around <laughs> post retirement mm-hmm. age. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, friend Cameo came over today and uh, was doing some arts and crafts with Linnea. And Linnea oh, yeah. said that she wanted to put some stickers on the bear, uh, this picture of a bear that I'm looking at right now. Um, and yeah. so appa- apparently, uh, Cameo said, "Like, what do you want to? What do you want to do to the bear?" And she's like, "I want to sparkle the bear." Oh. oh, so she just put a bunch of like sparkle stickers on the bear. Awesome. Uh, yeah, sparkle bear. I want to sparkle the bear. Anyways, uh, so yes, that that thirst trap selfie that mom likes so much <laughs> <laughs> is the results that I reap from uh, this thirty days of what's going on back there. Can you hear that? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, that is once again, guys, an unasked for cameo from Gunther. <laughs> Him scratching, I don't know. It was like this dog was born with itching powder on his face. He has the itchiest face around, uh, and he tries to scratch it. He ain't got no hands. He doesn't know about sound hygiene. No, audio he fucking hygiene. doesn't. God, he sure doesn't, because he's had the cops called on us for barking. <laughs> You're an idiot. Um, Maybe it was Gunther who broke into your car. Cartoon dog level intelligence. There we go. <laughs> September. Lessons that I pulled from it. I, I got to get through this. I got to get through this section. I got to get through this section. Um, so I tried to train 30 days, tried to train every single day in September. I didn't. There were only two days where I fully didn't train at all. So I got 20. I checked the, I checked the box 28 or 30 days. I still feel like that's pretty darn good. One of them was that zoo day. Um, um, I don't know. I forget. There's a lot of walking. There's a lot of walking. I considered but, myself active with Linnea today doing playground. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I was going to say. So that's the thing. It's like not every day that I counted as a training day was like a workout day. Um, so for me, there are days where like I didn't get a workout session in, but I still like made like a bunch of food for the week or like I did a bunch of work around the house to like facilitate these other pieces of my goal of my lifestyle. And like what I had to land on was like, training is really any intentional set of behaviors that I do that gets me closer to my goal. Um, if it happens on accident, that's good, but it's not training because I'm not doing that on purpose. If it doesn't get me closer to my goal, if it is on purpose, then it's not training um, because it has to be focused on this thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, so even, even though not, there weren't all workouts, whatever. Um, so I hit that, check that box. But even, checking that like how many workouts i got in september was probably still like 25 26 something like that. so it was still it was still a lot yeah yeah man that, that so that's the that's the other thing that i that um i learned from it was that frequency at least for me like my body responds to frequency really really strongly um and i think that's probably the case for a lot of people's physiology too because i've talked about on this podcast many times like how your body builds muscle or loses fat is it's a it's an adaptation to a uh, set of stresses that your body needs to change in order to handle better the more often you give give that stimulus the more your body is going to want to adapt to it and the faster your body is going to want to adapt to it so makes sense working out 26 times in 30 days even if every workout wasn't super intense, there are many workouts where it's just like, I'm going to do a hundred reps of this easy thing, the end. And that was it. Like no warm up, no cool down. I swing my mace a hundred times. That's it. Cause I'm fucking tired. and I don't want to do anything else. Just like getting that in was, it was like input stimulus to my body. Be like, man, we're still doing this. Like, well, our sh- <laughs> better make the shoulders bigger, better get the lungs stronger, you know, cause it's yeah. just, it's input, you know? So I think having constant input, that's one of the, I think, uh, strengths of having a home gym that I have, like kettlebells, um, because mm, I can yeah. just come down here and just like bang out a couple of reps, and that's all I do for the day. It still counts as training. That's still yeah, right. Intentional behaviors gets me towards my goal. It's still stimulus in my body. It has to adapt. Whatever. I digress. Um, I also was supported in my ideas and supported in my evidence that all or nothing thinking or like black and white thinking is not the way 
Um, there were, because like I said, there were, there were two days where I just fully didn't. And those were days where it was an accident. There were a couple of days where I didn't do mm, anything yeah. on purpose. And this, this is just a recovery day. I'm just going to enjoy time with my family and fill my cup. There were days where like that was like Sunday, the last day of the month. My fucking car got broken into. I got to deal with that all morning. Then I got to go to work. Then I got to deal with this for the rest of the day. Didn't have time for a workout. Didn't do anything else that was like making me feel very good. I did not fill my cup on Sunday. <laughs> um, but like, even so, like if if that happened, and I didn't have this like adaptation mindset, this resilience mindset of like I just have to change the goalpost basically today, like that would have been a that, that would have been a call it quits day. You know, yeah, for sure. We've talked so many times about like, oh, I ate off my diet. Might as well eat the whole, you know, the rest of the dozen donuts or whatever, you know. Yes. And like, like, I mean, clearly, it's not something that I struggle with a whole lot myself personally. Clearly, look at the selfie. Look, I'm look at the selfie. You know, um, my my thing is much more like, um, like in it's not it's not like a black or white. It's more of like a, a degrees of success. Like, is it? it's a is it, is it a good enough for me like mm. I'll, I'll have to do it like i can do this like I, you know i'll do like um all i have energy for today is like you know some push-ups and that's it but is that good enough is that enough are you real it's for me for me it's imposter syndrome i think that that's my big thing yeah it's like are, are you like do you really deserve to call yourself like a like an athlete rob you know are you really a good coach because you only did xyz so many times this month like are you like are you really are you really real man um and i think that this proves that i am even you know even with those with those struggles and it was, it was good to see like um yeah like i said really reverberates that the the past fail thinking is like so damaging to progress <laughs> yes um i mean this is not a surprise to anyone who's listened to the podcast or had all or nothing thinking stop right. them from succeeding at things in the past um so yeah i no, no reason to 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 talk about that too much so do you uh, i mean if you want to share numbers do you have numbers yeah. on your final like started uh, at this ended at this Ooh, you know what that's a good question actually yeah let me look back uh let me just open up this tab that i have so I, i'm still Patab. on the hash i i still am on my hashtag road to 200 um, let's see. My first measurements that I took was in August. Okay, so here's my measurements from August 31st. There we go. Uh, I weighed in at 186. My circumference measurements. My waist was 37 and a half inches. Hips. My butt. 38 and a half inches. My bicep on my right side. I was only doing right side stuff at this point. Right bicep was 14 inches. My right thigh was 23 inches. On September 28th, the last, the most recent measurement I took, I weighed in at 189.4. Hey so a good three and a half-ish pounds bigger. Um, my waist was the same, 37 and a half. My hips, 39 inches, so half an inch bigger, whatever. My right biceps and my arms, 15 inches, a whole inch gained on my arm which if if you're a dude listening to this to add an inch to your biceps yeah in a month is fucking nuts I it, didn't, like yeah i'm not I, a man and i'm impressed i didn't think my body was capable of growth like that i thought mm -hmm. I've, i thought i was like a hard gainer for so long um turns what out what is I'm a just, hard gainer um a hard gainer is someone who finds it difficult to put on weight to put on muscle mass mm -hmm. specifically muscle mass or like any kind of weight i guess in general um so if you think of someone who's like naturally usually very tall and thin not a ton of muscle on their frame um and you know i'll be you know, as a coach or whatever as a person in fitness you hear like oh, yeah i eat so much and like i feel like i work out all the time and still nothing and usually what that is is an under it's, it's an underestimation of calories consumed in a drastic overestimation of at least the efficacy of your training stimulus mm. um and for me what turned out to be the thing was again frequency uh, my right thigh also gained uh, half an inch, so twenty three point five. Shout out right thigh. Shout out the right. It ain't the wrong thigh. I tell you that right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, so so I mean, even just looking in the mirror for me, like just even, just the way my shirts fit, like I can tell I've put on material mass. in my upper. I put on mass in my upper body. It's nice, awesome. Man. I feel fucking 
strong and fit, dude. It's great. I do yeah. have to take a break off from jujitsu for a while, which does bum me right the hell out. I contracted a little bit of the ringworm. A little bit. Uh, from train just a little bit. It is honestly very little. It's like the, the thing itself is like smaller than my pinky nail. Um, but it's, so it's just, not you know, gross, guys. It's not. I mean, here's, just, here's the thing. It's very common. Chances are you have unknowingly encountered the type of fungus that creates this. It's the same thing that it, it's the same thing as athlete's foot. It's just called different things depending on. I've done so much reading about this in the past couple of weeks, dude. In the past couple cool. of weeks. Is so your cool. algorithm just ringworm content? Uh, thank God it's not. No, but uh, <laughs> it's it's funny. We were we were hanging out the, at the uh, playground with the kid for this weekend, and I was Wikipediaing it while. Olivia played on the monkey bars, or whatever, and I was telling Mo some facts about, it, and she was like, "I want to know as little as possible about." Honestly, this. <laughs> she's please. Like, I, I don't want else. this. She's like, "I don't want this in my brain. It's going to just occupy all my thoughts." She's like, "Since I found out you have it, my whole body is itchy. All Absolutely, the time. it's all I can think about." And I'm like the opposite. I'm like, I need to know as much as possible about this thing. Mm, I need to yeah. like know the enemy. I need to know like what to expect. What I need to are know the be. enemy. That's how I think about it. You know, every time I'm sick or I I'm suppose. or I have a fungal yeah. infection, it's not yeah. a, it's not a really a worm, you guys. It's not a parasite. So that that was that was a misconception that we we had to clear up. Um, oh, did you not know that beforehand? I knew that. That was a surprise to Mo. Oh. Um, so yeah, ringworm, fungal infection, super duper common. The trick is that you need to like, I think, just bathe <laughs> regularly. So overrated. Overrated. So if, I think if, the trick also. If shout if out do, to my groomer friends. Yeah, don't get licked on the face. Don't get licked on the face by a dog that has ringworm because I, I had know. ringworm on my lips. Yeah, I, I luckily I'm not that bad. I'm I'm not kissing my. Luckily, I'm not that fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> That's not a jujitsu move. If you know, the well, mouth takedown. It's not uh, accepted by IBJJF rules. Pretty homophobic. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying, guys. So it's a big problem in the community. But if if you do <laughs> grappling, if you've done wrestling or jujitsu or judo, you have come into contact with this spore. I guarantee it. Um, whether spore. That's what it is. It's a fungal infection. Oh, it spreads, it spreads man. spore by, I've by, had by contact. One, I hate the word spore, dude. I think. So it's a fungal. What is it? It's a, it's a myco life form. I think myco life forms are so interesting and so fucking gross and alien. Yeah. I'm like, it's a curse. Will you will you name me. the episode Spore? Sure, if you want. No, me don't, to. don't do it. I'll call it Spore Knowledge. Spore Knowledge. <laughs> the ringworm episode. It's so funny to me that that gives you the ick. Um, anyways, I'm treating it with an over-the-counter medicated ointment, guys. Lotrimin? It's not. No, it's at the Target brand, but it's the exact same active ingredient for the exact same amount for like half the price. Just okay. takes like two weeks to clear up. Yeah. It's fine, guys. You know, don't, <laughs> When don't I got shy. my... Also, hold on real quick. Mm. Take a fucking shower as soon as you're done training. Yeah. That's what sure. happened to me. I should I I did no gi and I should have gone home and taken a shower right away. But instead, I went and I went grocery shopping and then I walked the dog and then I made myself lunch and then I took a shower and then I got fucking ringworm. The spores so, have spread by that the point. Spores are sporin. Spores be sporin. <laughs> sporin be sporin. That might You're be sporin. Episode. They're sporin. Ooh, good one, sis. Thanks. Uh, we do have some listener questions. I don't think we, we should answer them all. I think just in case we don't have any next episode. So don't answer them all. People want points, dude. They're going to ask questions. Mm. Um, so yeah, so this this week's bonus points for the Halloween challenge was to go to the one of the reasons you can, you can win bonus points. Go to the podcast channel on the Discord. Ask us a question for today's episode. The first one, asked by your bestie M, I think it was hey. actually not specifically for this, maybe whatever. Uh, yeah, she, a... she asked me this during training, or like, okay, yeah. and I was just like, girl, ask it on the Discord. Good idea. Way to generate content. What's a better way, what's a better way to work out when weight training? Going to a failure or counting reps? That's a very good question, and one that comes up a whole lot. Uh, I had from... no idea that was even a thing. Yeah, so I think counting reps is going to be the best. I think going to failure has its place very rarely. 
I don't like trying to failure myself. I don't like pushing my clients to failure for a lot of reasons. Um, failure can also mean a lot of things. I don't like the word training to failure. I prefer yeah, training right. for maximal reps. Um, because um, if you go to failure, it's just like, I can't do it. And then you get bench pressing. And then like, well, you go to failure and now you can't lift this fucking thing off your body. Yeah, and then you die. RIP. That happened to me once. Um, more than oh. once, actually. But it happened to me one time at like one o'clock in the morning at an anytime fitness. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'll tell that story in just a second here. But because I want to answer M's question first. Count reps first, um, because strength training is about progressive overload. And you, if you're working out in a gym, chances are you have the, uh, you have the ability to count your reps and increase weight or change the type of implement that you're using to affect, let's say, a bench press, as, a, as, as the example. Um, if I count my reps and I do, let's say, just the bar, 45 pounds, 10 times. And I say, that felt like 50% of my maximal effort. So there, there's a little bit of like jazz that has to happen here where you have to like feel your own body mm-hmm. a little bit and say like, this feels, this is where the RPE scale becomes very useful. Um, this felt like a five out of 10 on my RPE. I can do more. And then you add 10 pounds, whatever. And then you do 10 more. It's like, okay, that felt like a seven out of 10. That's about where I want to be. Uh, so yeah, counting reps is good because it gives you more data. Going to failure all the time is for 20-year-olds, and we're not that. <laughs> because 20-year-olds yeah. can do that, and they can put their bodies through it. Uh, we're over 30, and our bodies <laughs> don't respond well to maximal repetitions, especially repeatedly. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's about it. That's all, that's all I was doing. Count your reps. Uh, if, you yeah. want to, if you want to know more about like what reps and what weights and RPE and stuff like that, ask away in the Discord. This is, again, it's fitness nerd stuff. I will talk about it later forever. Um, Dizzy Biz, user Dizzy Biz, Beth asked, what are some tips to help maintain progress around holidays that are, quote, food-centric? I believe what Beth is alluding to is Thanksgiving and Christmas. The number one tip that I have regarding food around the holidays on these feasting days is to enjoy your food. Yeah. Eat what you want to eat. Just don't eat too much of it. That's about it. Limit yourself to one plate. Let's say that. That's a good, that's a solid ass strategy. It's yeah. often not the types of food that we eat that are making us overweight or sick, whatever. It's more often the portion of that food, how much of that food that, sure. we eat that winds up biting us in the ass. I think it was like just last episode we were talking about like sizes of things like in America versus other yes. countries like yeah. for, for soda pops or whatever. Yeah. In America. Uh, shout out to our UVO abridged <laughs> listeners out there. Uh, but yeah, pick, pick what you want. Make like a plate. Hit all the things, pile that plate with as much as you can of all your favorite stuff. Get one serving of each. If you, if it's dessert time. Make sure time, you get mom's scallop corn. Get the scallop corn. When it's dessert time, pick a dessert. Get a serving of it. Don't go over. And pro- if you're going to limit, if you're going to purposely limit a specific type of thing, limit alcohol. Because mm-hmm. one, it's, it's, it's empty calories, but I'm not here. I'm not here to shame calories, whatever. Um, consuming alcohol degrades your decision-making capabilities. And if you are trying to be like, I just eat one plate of this. If you like two wines deep, you're like, I can, I can have a, I can have a second pie. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like the, all the, all the work that we're doing, trying to be mindful about this, that mindfulness really goes out the window. Um, so close that window, limit yourself to just one wine, one beer, whatever, you know, you're not there to get. Yeah, relax. Don't be mixing it, like vodka, orange juice, and wine. Yuck. <laughs> Rachel. We're not we're not here usually. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna talk about what your family gatherings are like, but you're probably there to spend time with your family. Um, but I'm not gonna say that sometimes you don't need a little we'll say chemical assistance to deal with your family for long periods of time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've ever done. But, uh, well, let's... I mean, our our family is very much like us. This is true. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. 
as someone who can get but that's also that's also well, yeah a lot of energy in one room so that's a lot to deal with um let's see blaze asks let me take a sip Ooh, with the holiday season coming up oh my god rob that was a loud sip mm. i'm so thirsty <laughs> so i put that's why i post some thirst traps the mom comments on them. I will never get over that for the rest of my life. Uh, was Blaze, mom the very first commenter? She was on Facebook, yes. Uh, not, not on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, that's fine. My Instagram is where I'm at. Anyways, Blaze asked, yeah, that's fine. with the holiday season coming up, would it be better to work out more in one day when you know won't have the time the next day? Or is that actually slower, worsening your progress? Okay. So this is actually an interesting question because I think I, w- I want to play a little bit of like author's intent. So Blaze, if what you're asking is, should I do two workouts in one day? If I know I won't get it later in the week, I'd say no. Um, mm. If you're asking, should I, gonna answer. should I add more to my single workout during the day? If I know I'm not going to have a chance to do it later on the week, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, as with anything, I think energy balance and like, like read the vibe, you know, read your own vibe, read your body's vibe. Uh, if you have the energy to add a little bit more, especially if you know, you've got, you know, a lot of food coming in, you got a lot of calories coming down the pipe the next couple of days, yeah. so you're going to be busy with stuff. Uh, you know, you want to get it in. If you feel like extra motivated, like now's like, now's like the time to get it in, dude, capitalize on that. Use that energy, ride that vibe, dude. Um, get it in, that. get it in. That's what I'm saying. Get it in. Um, I am pretty much never going to recommend doing two a days, um, because again, we're not 20 years old or not like yeah. professional athletes, unless you are a 20 year old or professional athlete, then go off, homie. You probably don't need my advice. <laughs> I'm not who you need to hear from if you're in those demographics. Uh, but yeah, if you should work out extra or work out more in one day, you know, we don't have the time. Yeah. Yeah. Capitalize. I was just talking about this on, uh, Capitalism. With a, with a, I talk about capitalism all the time, Rachel. Don't <laughs> you <laughs> naughty, naughty? Don't get me started. <laughs> um, having having an opportunity mindset, having having an opportunity mindset, rather than I think like the black and white mindset, like oh, I didn't say it's not on my plan today, so I'm not going to work out, or like I'm not going to have a chance to work out because Christmas is coming. So I'm not going to work out all this week. Like, no, 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 no. You have the opportunity right now to jump on this thing and go in and get some progress in. Go. Do that. Jump on it. Jump on it. Uh. That's the only Uh, part of the song I know. There's a lot of, uh, we'll say, culturally insensitive sound bites. Oh. To it. It is is a really banging song, though. I hate that. Uh, Very danceable. Sydney uh, <laughs> asks, in, in lieu of Halloween, scariest or most dangerous advice or methods you've seen taught on how to exercise? Just go on TikTok and search hashtag fitness. That. Yeah. Pretty much anything that 20-year-olds are doing. Everyone should do it this way because it worked for me because I have I have the metabolism of a son. <laughs> and I've never had to work an actual day. Also, no one res- I am responsible for no one besides myself, and even not that yeah. because other people take care of me. I'm 20. Uh, but just shit like like these challenge workouts that I see online of like dudes who are just like super juiced and super jacked, They're, like doing setups with barbells and the throne, the barbells and shit like that. Like risk versus reward. You know, I'm not going to say like CrossFit is dangerous or anything like that. Um, I will say that uh, chiropractors and physiotherapists love when a uh, CrossFit gym opens in their neighborhood. Uh, so take <laughs> or that pickleball. Or pickleball court. Yeah, take that for the information for what you will. Um, but I'm not going to say there's like a, a specific discipline of fitness that is like inherently dangerous. Like I, I participate in combat sports. That might be the most inherently dangerous form of fitness there is yeah, true. because I'm there to fight other human beings. Uh, but even that beyond the occasional bump and bruise or fungal infection, um, I'm mostly just fine. <laughs> you know, it's, it's cool. As long as you're being careful about it. You know, as long as you're being, as long as you're showering right after, as long as you're showering right after. And it's with consenting adults. Um, you can do your violence whenever you want to. Uh, Your recreational like the, violence, like the most dangerous thing, though. Like, I guess, like, the, like the worst fitness advice, 
is probably like keto. Oh yeah. That's like if I, if I if I have like a bone to pick with anything like in the fit, in the phytosphere lately, keto is probably my thing. Um, I think it's cra- I feel like the keto craze is super calmed down. It really has, um, and I think with good reason. People realize it's not sustainable. Yeah. Um, the results that you get from it and the speed at which you get the results are drastic. Um, and that should have been a red flag for people, yeah, right. honestly, you know, um, easy come, easy go, as they say. But the thing right. about keto is that it's not easy come because it fucking sucks to do and to be in ketogenesis is a wildly stressful state for your body to maintain. Uh, it's not awesome. It's like zero to five stars would not recommend to friends. I mean, but I know people who do it and have done it and have been successful. So I don't know, man. Maybe it's for you. Try it out if you really want to. I will literally never recommend it, though, to a client. Yeah. Talk to yeah. a dietitian. Talk to a dietitian. Guys. I, yeah, I remember the uh, dietitian was this like literally all fad diets are ridiculous. A balanced yeah. diet. Like people hate to hear it. They do. But it's the most boring, unsexy, unmarketable mm-hmm. stuff that works the most. Yeah. Um, it's just like be medium, man. Be yeah. medium about stuff. Medium right. works. You know. But that doesn't that doesn't get clicks. That doesn't get views. Right. You know, like it's not like this intensity mindset. It's like oh, hustle and grind, whatever. Right. You know, and, and it's not like the other end of the spectrum either, where it's like this, like you have, where there's like this like body acceptance movement, which I'm about. Yeah, you know, obviously you have a body, you should fucking accept it. But it's like there's like this toxic side, this toxic end, of that extreme of the spectrum, where it's like even wanting to work out is fat phobic. It's like yes, that's, right. That's bullshit. That's right. not that's not a healthy way to engage with reality. Right. And I would even say that those people probably aren't really engaging with reality. <laughs> yeah. And they're certainly not healthy because let's be real. Wanting, wanting to work out, wanting to work out, um, your body is built to move We are, we are animals. We are apes that learn. We're apes that learned to do taxes. Have you been watching chip crazy? No, I'm still not watching Chimp Crazy. It gives me the ick. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> okay, well. That also, should be it's, a horror movie. I was gonna say, it's also not hashtag spooky content, so I can't watch it it's this month. It's pretty freaking spooky. I don't know, man. It's just, it's like, <sighs> ooh. I felt, I felt yucky watching Tiger King, you know? It's not called Chimp Happy. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right. So before we close out here, there is um, I did want to get our hollow winners who listen. You know who you hey. are. I want to give you guys the opportunity to win a bonus point right now. Are you listening? Are you Are you listening? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under your Discord or under your Instagram, wherever you know you can reach me. And a DM, a direct message. I want you to DM me a joke. Any joke doesn't have to be long. Um, in fact, doesn't have to be should. good. It doesn't have to be good. I would like it if it was. Um, DM me a joke. You'll get a bonus point for this week, uh, and then we'll read them on the air for next week. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So don't make it filthy either. <laughs> well, you know, you can make it. You can make it a little bit saucy. Don't. Yeah. Don't make it racist or something. Don't make it racist. Can I close out with my favorite joke of all time? Oh, yeah. That Mo hates so much. Wait, did I already tell my scuba diving joke? Uh, Why don't you tell it right now? Okay, do you know why scuba divers uh, dive backwards out of the boat? (laughs) Why? Because if they dove forwards, they'd be in the boat. (laughs) (laughs) You you did tell me that one. Yeah. Uh, No, I want to tell the mouse joke, which is my favorite joke of all time. All right. All right, um, so this guy, this traveling salesman, pulls into town late at night. He's been on the road all day, and he's fucking starving. He walks around, and he finds a bar, and it says, World's Best Chili, and a neon lights out front. He goes, oh, God. Perfect, you've heard this one, I guarantee. He walks in, sits down at the bar, uh, grabs himself a beer. There's, it's empty. It's late at night. There's only one other guy to end the table staring into his bowl. Um, he says, hey, bartender, could I get a bowl of the world's best chili? Bartender says, sorry, man. Uh, kitchen's closed. The gentleman at the end of the bar just ordered the last bowl. So pick it up with him. Uh, salesman looks over at the guy. He's just staring into his bowl, very quiet. Uh, 
uh, pensive even. And it says, hey, bud, you know, I, this is weird, but I hate to be that guy, but I've been traveling all day. I'm starving. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on a bowl of the world's best chili. Do you mind if I try yours? And the guy says, have at it, friend. Rolls it over to him, gives him leave to just eat the entire bowl. Salesman takes a bite of one bite of chili. It's some of the world's best. It's chunky and warm. Takes another bite. Delicious. Oh, it's nobody got, says that, the joke. It's, 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 got, it's got a nice twang to it. Goes for a third bite. His spoon hits something really solid. <laughs> and he scoops it out, and it's a dead mouse. Oh, appalled. The salesman drops the spoon and uh, vomits oh, okay. it all back up into the bowl. And the first guy looks at him and says, yeah, that's about as far as I got to. <laughs> and this was your joke brought to you by fourth grade Robbie. <laughs> I think I heard that joke in like sixth grade. Yeah. This has been the RF Fitness <laughs> Podcast. If you want to not hear that joke ever again <laughs> and begin your course for health and fitness, you can go to rffitness.net. That's R-F-F-I-T-N-E-S-S dot N-E-T to learn more. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the green page and hit and click on join the party to jump into the Discord and tell Ooh. me how much you hated that joke. <laughs> Keep questing, everybody, and stay spooky. (laughs) Bye.